Hey guys, how's it going? I thought it'd be a nice idea to provide a short little video um, explaining how I kill Cerberus on my account. It's not the best way to kill Cerberus, or the most efficient, but for any other peers that are curious as to how I kill it and uh, want to do it my way, that'd be a good idea to show you guys. So starting off with stats, I uh, basically just have max range and I have 55 prayer. I do boost it with Ancient May spec, which um, I'll elaborate later on. But um, yeah, just basically just need range, range and prayer, and HP. For gear wise, uh, just max range. If I could change two items um, in my setup, it'd be Ranger Tunic for the chest for more range bonus, and like Zenite um, jewelry, Zenite amulet would be good, be better. I wear Brace of Slaughter to extend. I have a 25% chance to extend a kill, um, so it doesn't like count as a kill with this bracelet. I could bring like a regen bracelet or black dead van braces um, for the stats, but I have the fear of forgetting to switch near the end of the kill and losing that chance to to extend the the task a little bit more. So and then blowpipe, I have uh, myth darts. You could get better. You could use better darts like Addy, Rune, Dragon. So there's that, and um, inventory wise, just monkfish, you could bring like cheese potatoes, um, cram bams or whatever, whatever you have in the bank. I have one range pot and two prior pots. One range pot, I think I do like one sip every kill or two. I repot at 109. And then the two prayer pots is about the right ratio to your food inventory. Um, I think I brought three prayer pots, but it just, I never used the third one, or maybe sometimes I did because of like double ghosts, but two is just the average uh, setup. I also bring Rune Pouch with the house teleports to Taverly, um, which I'll show in a second. I also pre pot anti poison because uh, during the shortcut on the way over there, there's, uh, there's spiders, so to avoid the, the poison. Um, but yeah, let me run down what I do. So, Ancient Mace on the dummy, you need 53 construction and five teak planks, four cloth, and about like five buckets of sand. And then I upgraded it to a undead combat dummy for an, I think, extra prayer boost with four buckets of slime and a black mask. And so basically I just put on a super strength prayer to get the max hit and spec it. Take off the prayer. I, uh, I double click on the prayer, uh, on quick prayer, just to make sure I don't drain it. Go to my house for the anti-poison, and then I'll be heading right over there. Sip, bring out a monkfish, and then all the way to Serb. Now for prayers, I actually camp range instead of mage, um, because Serb actually, even though Serb uses more mage attacks, I can't avoid the mage damage, so I at least can avoid the range damage. So I just have range camped on the entire fight and preserve to conserve my, my range pot, make it last longer, and then Eagle Eye just for the bonus. For the shortcut, you, you need 80 agility or just have 75 agility with Summer Pie to boost, uh, plus 5 to cross over. So there's that. There's the uh, the spiders around here. There's that one to avoid getting poisoned. It's not really a big deal if you got poisoned. Um, doesn't it never really affected the trip when I was? It maybe just cost you like an extra food or whatever. And then on the right, go into the cave. And there's three different areas to enter, sir. I always go to the left side just because I think it's faster. Uh, but it probably doesn't even make make a difference. So yeah, then you just turn turn the uh, the winch. And I'll explain the kill. Yeah, just pre-pot range, pray range, quick praise up, uh, and starting. The very beginning, he's gonna do a combo hit, so I pray melee, and then it's back to range. Um, once he bites you, you can just switch to back to range. Just wanna make sure you get that that melee, um, melee protection. So I just throw some pecs, some specs right now. And then when ghosts show up, I will probably might have a, a slow-mo version of what I do. But I basically prepare my first prayer on the first ghost. It goes from left to right. Um, 
His max hit is like 20... 26, 27, so I'm always going to heal like around 30 HP. I don't like healing too early because I hate missing out on a game tech. That was the combo as well, so I went back to melee for, for a second. He bit me with switch back to range. I'm waiting on his ghost. What if I don't even get ghost this, this kill? Could be lucky. Okay, here we go. So I basically make sure I'm above 40 prayer so I don't get smited too early. I have prepared range. Switch to mage. Free pot. Back to range. Back to melee, I mean. I'm about to do it again because that was all that was really fast. So that was really, really fast. <laughs> Alright, so let's go do this again. Um lava damage, you just avoid. Like right now, that was perfect timing. Calculated. Just uh, avoid, make sure you're two squares away. And that's easy. But yeah, ghost again. Let me uh explain that again. So it's prepare the the first prayer. And then when the first ghost does the spin is when you switch. Is uh, what I do. Kind of hope I get another ghost again. But um, that's just lavas again. So then, let's see. Let's see what happens. If I take too long, second ghost should show up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, cool. Perfect. So I'm above 30. 30 prayer. I have prepped the first melee. He spins back to the second ghost, which was mage. And then I go back to inventory, sip on a prayer pot, and then back to uh, range to, to protect. So, and I didn't even protect, I didn't even sip on a prayer like I should have. But that's about it, pretty much. And there's Rin 2 Witch. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be another round of, of serve to re-explain some things. Uh, the beginning of the fight is the combo with melee, so when he bites me is when I switch back to range. I avoid taking the triple or double damage. Um, I use blowpipe just for the spec. I think best spec weapon, compared to like not using a DDS or anything else. Saves you inventory space. Every 45 seconds, you Serb will actually do the other melee combo. So. Throughout this kill, I'll go back to melee, pray, and then back to range. Every 45 seconds. And then... What else? What else? Oh! Uh, two kill trips is basically my average. I think you can get restores. Oh, there's the melee. There's the combo damage again. Um, I think you can get restores to maybe extend your trip, but I think maybe three... Three kills at the most. Um, waiting on ghost? Okay, here we go. So for Ghost, like I said before, I prepare the first prayer to Mage, he does a spin, I switch back to melee, do a sip, back to range. Might have messed up by explaining it, but that's basically what I do is I prep, prep the prayer, uh, when he does a spin, I switch to the next prayer on the second Ghost in line, go back to my inventory, do a sip of prayer, back to pray. holy shit, I said prayer four or five times, there's the combo again. Um, I'll say potion instead. So, prepare the first ghost, and then when he does a spin, go to the second prayer of the second ghost, go back to inventory for the potion, and then just one click that potion, go back to the prayer to finish the last um, switch. That should do it. That was a good drop. I want to attempt one more time to try to explain the ghost part because that's probably the hardest part about Cerberus and um, maybe a, a few the last few times went too fast to uh, explain it um, based on just being in the heat of the moment. So we're going to pretend that these anti-poisons are prayer pots and I'll basically run down on how I switch and uh, yeah. So we're going to pretend that there's going to be three ghosts um, or like above me kind of like at, at Cerberus it could be like mage range and melee It's always random. So don't depend on on that uh, combination, but mage range and melee and the, the system is prep flick sip flick That's uh, if you can memorize that or just remember mentally what to do So if it's mage range and melee, I want to basically prep the mage when they start showing up when he does the spin I do the switch to, to range, go back to my inventory, because I'll basically be smited at that point, because ghosts can either do 30 damage 
of damage, either 30 of damage or 30 prayer. So, um, one or the other. So, if I'm tanking, basically tanking the prayer on the mage, I'll sit at 40 plus prayer as well. Keep in mind, you want to get, uh, if you're at 30 prayer, um, the first mage is going to smite you, or the first ghost is going to smite you, and then it's going to mess up the whole thing. So make sure you're at least 40 plus. And so they show up, prep the mage, he does the spin, I switch to range, I go back to inventory, sip on the prayer, go back to my prayers, because at that point I'm smited to melee, and I'll get smited once again. So I have to go back to my inventory to sip another prayer and continue the kill with, uh, with Cerberus. So I hope that helped kind of like going super slow on that part. Um, I can maybe explain again. So like they show up, uh, let's say, let's do with like range, mage, and melee. Range shows up this time. I have it prepped. He does the spin, switch to mage, um, go for the prayer pot, go back to the melee, and then go back to the inventory for the final sip. Um, I hope it helps. Hope it's not too confusing. But that's basically it. Wanted to just uh, include that bit of information in there. Now there's going to be some scenarios that are uh, going to be different based on your inventory. So for example, if you have no food but a bunch of prayer, like you have leftover prayer pots and you have restore potions because Serb drops them um, every now and then, you don't. You want to actually use more prayer then, since you're out of food, you can't take any damage. So that's when you don't want to take any hits. Um, there's another scenario where you have a lot of food and no prayer, and uh, that's where you can actually tank some damage from the ghost. Like you probably would avoid maybe the first ghost and just prep like the second ghost and then flick to the second one. Um, yeah, or maybe sometimes I'd say maybe take two hits at the most, but never all three. Unless you're, unless you have like uh, a food combo, um, and you're ready for that. But yeah, just thought I'd add that in there. But yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I hope it helps, and um, yeah, good luck. <laughs>